welcome to a success life broadcast my name is john anyoni our vision here is to help people realize and release their potentials use their unique talents and lead fruitful and fulfilling lives i love a quotation by el nightingale who says all successful people are self-made but only the successful will admit it are you successful are you great are you leaving any legacy? You can do that today by making your right choices. Visit our website and it's www.successlife.co.zw. We can talk, we can chat, and you can invite us to come and speak, coach you, and train you for the best in life. Success is all about what you make in your mind. Remember, you are a sum total of your thoughts. Let's get into our broadcast today. Thank you. First of all, in developing one's mind, in developing one's association, in developing how you know we get into life, it has been said your association determines who you ultimately become in life. That's true. So basically, as our foundation for this column, do you think I can be shaped by my friends, by my family, by what I'm socialized into, for instance, the religion, the media, politics, etc.? You know what Les Brown says? He says, um, if you hang around nine broke people, you'll be number 10. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's so true. Um, yeah. People who are around you, they bring out the best in you. Alternatively, they can also bring out the worst out of you. It's because we are not an island. We will never be an island. Uh, people will always have something to say in our lives. But the most important thing is to determine who comes in and who lives. That's why I always say certain people are a blessing by coming in and others are a blessing by living. So in order for you to grow, you want to be very particular as to who is in your life. What value are they adding to you? What principles are they sharing with you? Mm -hmm. And I often say people who don't add value to you, they take away value from you. So you want once in a while to sit down and go through your phone and just identify who is in your phone. Why are they even in your phone? Mm -hmm. Where are they taking you? When was the last time you talked to them? And when you talk to them, what happened to you? You know, certain people, when you talk to them, they inspire you to think big. They inspire you to think growth, think development. Other people, when you talk to them, they depress you. They, they vote this negative attitude, negative approach. They don't believe in anything good from you. So you want to invest in people who celebrate your greatness, people who celebrate your future, people who want you to succeed mm -hmm. well the problem with other people is they are so happy with you being mediocre and they feel threatened when you say i want to go up why because many people we are so comfortable with people who are at our level we're not comfortable with people who want to break the norm and to do the abnormal okay and it's only people who are ready to do the abnormal who make history okay because everything right now used to be abnormal but now we can record now we can fly, but at one point in time it was abnormal. But what was the secret? You find that those people used to do all that. They invested in the right people. People who are not willing to say no. People who are ready to say yes, even if they don't necessarily believe in what you're doing. So I, I think once in a while, like I, I said earlier, let's sit down. Let's do an evaluation. Mm -hmm. Who is in my life? Right. What value are they adding to me? But also you want to take a different angle. What value are you adding? to them mm -hmm. because the problem with other people we simply want to be parasites want to benefit as much as possible from other people but we don't want to add value to other people so i think it should be a two-way thing right you add value to other people and you also invest in people who add value to you why it's because there's no way that you add value to other people and you remain ordinary mm -hmm. and there is no way that you raise other people and you stand on the ground let's invest in raising other people and also let's invest in people who are going to raise us. Okay. Some people have said coaching is the basis of where we can possibly go. You know, That's true. You know a team always wins with the best coach. You know, we had the African Cup of Nations mm -hmm. recently, and you know, that guy who took the, the, the cup is the same guy who caused Zambia to win. Mm, That's true. And the importance of a coach as in relation, who should I choose to be my coach? Let's say I need coaching in my finances, I need coaching in my career, I need coaching maybe in how I develop my own mind and my career, etc. So basically, how do I choose? Do, do I just pick them from the street, from a book, from a newspaper? <laughs> Where exactly? And what are the prerequisites 
for me to look into for someone to be my coach? Yeah, I, I think the purpose of coaching is coming from a recognition, basically, that there are certain attributes that you need from other people. And because you don't have those attributes and you can find them in other people. So what people need to do now is to identify the person you want to have as your coach. What exactly about them do you admire? What exactly about them do you want to learn from them? One person once said you can't learn swimming lessons from a drowning person. <laughs> and that's so true. Yeah. So if you are struggling in your finances, you won't be able to help me with my finances. That's why it's very dangerous to be advised by a person who is in financial crisis on finances. Because if that advice is telling you works, it should work at least for him. Yeah. That's why, Jonah, you know, in our profession as speakers, one of my issues is you can't be a motivational speaker and be poor. Yeah. Why? Because you can't tell people about greatness and be average. You can't yeah. tell people about excellence and be average. Yeah. So look at the person you want to. Identify the things that you admire about them and also identify the things that you want to learn from them. Mm -hmm. And right now, because the world is now a global village, you can learn from YouTube. You can learn from subscribing to newsletters. You can even establish direct contacts with certain people you get to learn. But mm -hmm. most importantly, the issues on learning. Who are you learning from? Right. That's why it's not just important to learn who is teaching you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because certain people simply teach you what they're not doing. And yeah. that's a problem. Mm -hmm. But look for people who are doing what they're teaching. Right. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, if we can do a juxtaposition <laughs> of coaching and mentorship, w what could be the, the possible line separating the two? Coaching and mentorship, basically, it's technically the same. But a mentor is not just teaching you, it's mm -hmm. working with you okay. in the journey. That's why the difference between a mentor and a teacher is a teacher simply teaches, mm -hmm. but a mentor practices what they teach. So a coach, you're basically guiding people through a certain journey, right. directing people. And possibly you're also directing them. I know there are certain soft football people who are coaching when they've never played yeah. soccer. But of course you find that it's because they've taken a lot of time studying it and they've invested in other ways such that they're now even able to, to coach. But the most important thing is working the journey. That's why St. Francis of Assis once says there's no point in working to preach the gospel until our working is preaching. Okay. And that's, I think, one of the things which is very important. Because the world now is not in need of more orators. We have what enough? <laughs> it's in need of more practitioners. Yeah. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I think the greatest form of motivation is action. Okay. True. People must see you to be moving. Right. Not just to be talking. Okay. Yeah, we're tired of talkers. Yeah. Mm. And then, you know, what's important is how we feed our mind. That's and, so true. And, and what we put into our mind. That's true. One author once said, you know, our mind is not there for it to be filled by any education, mm -hmm. but it's there to be opened by an education. Exactly. Uh, <coughs> more like a parachute. It operates well when it's open. That's so true. basically, <coughs> most people, you know, in their associations, which ultimately determine their assimilation, yeah, that's true. Uh, they've educated themselves so negatively that they can't even reach Mm. where they want to be. Mm. So what would be maybe as your final word of motivation, or how would you motivate them to say, guys, you can get off this kind of garbage thinking and get into this positive thinking where you can remake, rebrand and restructure your life. You know, the, the interesting part about success, like I always say, it's not mandatory. So whoever... <laughs> <laughs> It's not by It's by choice. It's by choice. Yeah. So the question is, do you really want to change? And if you say, I want to change, the question is, do you know how to change? And if you don't know, <clears throat> the interesting part now is, we now have people like you who can say, guys, I can guide you. Mm -hmm. But there is, has to be a willingness on the part of the person who wants to be helped, to actually be helped, right. to actually want to learn. And when we learn, when you're willing to learn, we'll tell you, number one, you need to revise the content. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people, if you don't like what is coming out on the radio, don't damage the radio set. Right. Change the station. <laughs> if you don't like what's coming out on your TV, don't interfere with the hardware. Change revise the, the program. Yeah. Switch to a different program. So this is what people need to do. We now need to ch tune in to different frequencies, different levels. Right. Because the problems we're having right now, they are not necessarily hardware problems. They are software program, problems. Mm -hmm. Because our minds have now been programmed in a certain way. And what happens with the program? And I think you have got a bit of knowledge in computers. Mm -hmm. A program is simply a written instruction which is given. Which, when it's complete, a machine has to run according yeah. 
to that problem. And this is what happens with our lives. We program ourselves to think we're average and we find ourselves effortlessly being average, yeah. effortlessly speaking negative, effortlessly condemning. It's because we have been programmed and programming establishing us convictions and most importantly it creates habits. That's why for certain people it's normal to lie, end up normal to tell the truth. <laughs> so we need to revise and reprogram our minds. Mm-hmm. And how do you reprogram it? Invest in the materials that add value to you. Invest in inspirational teaching, invest in inspirational books, inspirational CDs, things that encourage you. That's why the problem I have many people, we invest in literature that inspires fear. Okay. We buy depressing headlines, we buy depressing movies. And at the end of the day, after finishing, we're not better than before. Yeah. We're even worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we need that. <laughs> we need that. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's my that's my contribution. Okay, thanks, <laughs> I hope that was a positive broadcast that has caused you to think twice, think positively, and think success. Once again, my name is John Anyoni. Get in touch with us on www.successlife.co.zw. We do training, coaching, and motivational speaking. Once again, you can also order our books from our site. Thank you so much. Let's meet in another broadcast. Thank you.